Hello everyone. Today's question is on base system. We learn how to convert one base to another. So the question is find the LCM of 127 to the base 8 and triple 1 to the base 8 where n a is any number written in base a. So these are the options but these options are in base 16 that means hexadecimal. Base 8 is generally called octal. Now in these questions you should always convert all the values into decimal first. So if we convert this 127 to the base 8 into decimal how to do it? First of all we pick the unit digit that means 7 we will multiply it with 8 to the power 0 then we pick up the second number and we keep increasing the power of 8 so 2 into 8 to the power 1 then we will pick up the third number 1 into we will increase power of 8 it will become 2 so this becomes 64 plus 16 plus 7 which gives us 87 similarly we will convert triple 1 into decimal it will be a 1 into 8 to the power 0 plus 1 into 8 to the power 1 plus 1 into 8 square which gives us 64 plus 8 plus 1 this gives us 73 so now we have these two number in decimal we can take their LCM now since these are co prime to each other directly their LCM will be their multiplication so 87 into 73 that gives us 6 3 5 1 so this will be the LCM but in base 10 that means decimal we have to convert this into base 16 so how do you convert a number in base 10 to 16 or any other base first of all we write down the number we have in decimal so we'll write 6 3 5 1 we will divide it with the base in which we want this number to be converted so we want 6351 to be converted into base 16 because all the options are in base 16. So we'll divide it by 16 and we'll keep recording the remainders with every step. So if you do this, then you will have to divide it. You will be writing the quotient here and on this side, you will be writing down the remainders. So first of all, we get 16, 348, 155, 169, 144. We'll have 11 remainder. If we divide it further, we'll be having 16, 6, 96, 15 as the remainder over here. Here we'll have 9, 6. You can divide it. You can divide 6, 3, 5, 1 by 16. You'll get 3, 96 as the quotient, 15 as the remainder. Now we again divide this quotient that we have 3, 96 by 16. We'll be getting 16 to 32, 76. Then we'll have 16 for the 64. 76 minus 64, 12. 12 will be the remainder. We'll have 24 as the quotient. Now we again divide this by 16. We get 16 ones are, and we get 8 as the remainder. Now whenever you want to write the answers, you have to write in this manner. That means you'll start from 1 and then keep appending all these remainders. So we'll have 1, 8. Now this 12 and 15 these are not represented by just 12 and 15 in hexadecimal in hexadecimal we have numbers as 0 1 2 3 4 till 9 these are the digits and then as soon as 10 occurs 10 is written as a 11 as b 12 as c 13 as d 14 as e and 15 as f we have only 15 these numbers and characters in hexadecimal base 16 base so how will we write this 12 this 12 will be written as a is 10 b is 11 c is 12 so we'll have c over here and 15 15 is the last that means f so 1 8 c f this will be in base 16 this will be our answer so that's it it was very easy you could have done this within one or one and a half minute if there is any doubt please comment thank you